Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. You already know what day it is today. It is Annie Monday, the day where I draw anime for you guys. But let's jump right into it. So today I'm going to be drawing Ko from the anime series Erased. Um, very cool character, very strong character, and I'm going to have my image onto the side. And this is going to be a referenced drawing. So I'm going to have my reference right to the side. I'm going to try my best to draw this image as perfect as I can. Um, I could not find out who the original artist of this image was, but um, they have their signature down at the bottom of the image. So if you guys know who it is, you know, give them credit, whatever their name is. But I'm trying my best to draw that image that they did. And pretty much the best way to do it, like I always do in Domin's typical style, is to pretty much feel it out. Use your shapes, use your bare bones. This character, she's wearing a big giant overcoat. So a lot of her inner details, like her torso and stuff, it's going to be blocked out. So I can pretty much just draw a big humongous square over all of her body parts. As you see here, the square is now there and you can tell that it's like a coat. She's also wearing a skirt and it just works very well and since this is a reference image it is very easy to draw something like this and for anyone who is getting into digital drawing any type of drawing whatsoever this is a very good method of learning how to draw make sure you have something to decide if you ever took figure drawing or uh yeah figure drawing uh, in real life in a class and you have your person in front of you and you get to draw the figure it's pretty much the same thing you have your reference in front of you and now it's your turn to do your best example of drawing it which is what i'm doing and as you see here it's coming together very fast and very easily because i have a good reference of what i'm drawing and the character is going to look amazing at the end of it in typical diamond style and again for anyone who's just starting out uh doing any type of artwork of their own this is a really good method of learning how to draw if you ever buy a uh, how to draw book how to draw manga how to draw anime book it is the exact same thing it's going to ask you to draw what is referenced in the book and you can get better and better and better at it until you start drawing your own things and for me i just want to have some fun because i watched the whole series of this with my lady recently and it, we both loved it a lot i was like why not why not i'm gonna draw this character and uh, it came out very nice at the end of it and i enjoyed making this image and i believe that the only if i were to say talk about difficulties while making this this character um her arms uh Looking at the image to the right, I was noticing how her arms were kind of just like kind of tucked away. It looked like they were just overlapping on each other. And I was trying to figure out if there's a better way how I can make it look better. But in my opinion, it didn't really work that way. So I just kept on going at it. And uh, her eyes. Um, I realized one thing too that, that uh, in the anime, she has like no nose. So uh, no nose for her. I don't think she can smell anything. She can't sense the danger. She can't smell it. Um, maybe it's too cold outside. I don't know. Um, and I guess those are the only hard parts, I guess. Uh, when you're drawing with the reference, it is 10 times easier. Uh, like I said, if you ever had to or wanted to learn how to do something, you know, those how to draw books really do help. And, you know, you just practice drawing what is in the book. They give you all the shapes and things like that. And then eventually you can get as good as where I am or yourself and you can start creating your own images your own uh personal custom characters and just drawing anything that you want to draw it's a lot of fun and it takes a lot of practice though but um that's pretty much it this is ko from erased um very nice image it came out the coloring process was amazing i used the color palette from the right for my image uh, just very simple, very easy. Um, I absolutely love drawing with the reference because it tests you and your ability to see how well you can draw portions of something uh, completely freehanded. Uh, even though there is reference, this is still a uh, complete freehand straight from the, from the base all the way up. And it does test your skills and your abilities on how to draw people or anything in that nature, whatever you're trying to create. And um, you just gotta take your time with it. As you see here, every once in a while, I take a little pause just to see how things are. Um, I look at the image I have, my reference, just to make sure everything's lining up properly. Um, that's the reason why I drew a box around my character, kind of like guidelines in a way, to make sure my character is at height and at proper level and things. And that's pretty much it. I mean, if you were to see anything, I guess her feet, uh, <laughs> I keep on saying it, I am shitty at drawing feet. Her feet are ugly. 
and I guess that's my biggest downfall. But other than that, it came out very nicely. Absolutely love it. Love the anime, everything like that. Go check it out. Erased. But uh, we're not going to get into the finalized phase. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. It's your boy Damage here at Common Sense Graphics. This is Andy Monday. Love y'all. Rate, comment, subscribe. Your boy out.